Hi, Alex. What are you doing after school? A bunch of us are going to see the new movie. Should we pick you up? My cousin Jasmine was standing over my desk in class. Sounds fun, but I have soccer practice later. Rain check? Or you could come watch us. Jasmine <laughs> gagged and shivered dramatically. Ugh. I'd rather watch paint dry. Sorry. I laughed and pretended not to be offended by her comment. Jasmine didn't understand my fascination with soccer. I was the captain of the girls' soccer team at school. I couldn't imagine my life without playing. I was going to be a huge soccer star. After practice, I got home to find my older brother Josh waiting for me. Josh was a police officer. I'm afraid I have some bad news. A few months ago, I applied for a captain's position at another station. They called today. I got the job. Wow, congratulations, Josh. How's that bad news? He couldn't look me in the eye. Josh? The job is out of state. We leave in a week. No, my stomach dropped. Out of state? If we leave, I'll miss my chance of winning the Nationals. We are already in the quarterfinals. You're ruining my life. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a girl, but for the most part of the story, I'll be a boy. I hope you enjoy watching. Two weeks after we moved, I was riding my bike in a park nearby when I was hit on the head by a ball. It was a soccer ball. Great. I dribbled it past my bike, then kicked it. Whoa, where did you learn to dribble like that? A boy my age stood a few meters away, one foot on the ball. He was tall, really tall. Well? Huh? Oh, I used to play at the former school. I was the captain of my team. Why don't you come join us? It'll be fun. Sure, just for a few minutes. I'm Alex, by the way. Few minutes turned into two hours of pure bliss. A crowd had even gathered to watch and cheer. In the end, I scored three times. That was unbelievable! Will you be starting at Green Hill High? We all go there. Yeah, I just moved here. Great! See you at school then! I watched as he left with his friends, goofing around and laughing. That used to be my life. Why didn't you tell me you're playing again? Josh was leaning on my bedroom door. What are you talking about? He showed me a video of me playing in the park with Cole and his teammates. Wow, there's more than a million views on this. Read the caption. Local boy wows crowd with cool soccer skills. Boy? They think I'm a boy? Josh was doubled over laughing. I threw a pillow at him. School was going to be a nightmare. Here's a thought. I could avoid school altogether. I saw the coffee shop at the corner is hiring. <laughs> nice try. You'll go to school and you'll go as a girl. It probably won't be that bad. Looking at the video, even I thought I was a boy. I'd been dressed for bike riding, baggy sweatpants, and my hair was fully covered in a beanie. I was about to post a comment and say I was not a boy when a thought crossed my mind. What if I didn't say anything? They'd just continue thinking I was a boy. I could join the team and play soccer with Cole at school, as a boy. A few days later, my mind was made up. I was going to become the boy in the video. First thing I did was go to the mall. I met a very cool shop assistant, Carly, who helped me shop for my boy clothes. I also bought sports bras two sizes smaller. Ouch. I then followed a step-by-step -step YouTube tutorial on how to cut your own hair. This was it. I was now Alex, the boy with impressive soccer skills. My first day of school went better than I'd expected. Nobody suspected a thing. I even used the boys' washroom and, yikes, never again. Alex, hey, we're headed for practice. I could introduce you to the coach if you like. I followed Cole, expecting to go to the field, but we walked into a room full of half-dressed boys. Of course he'd take me to the boys' locker room. Why wouldn't he? Boys, look who's here! I couldn't move. I think my jaw dropped a couple of times. I looked like a fish out of water. A few came and fist bumped me. I even got a couple of side hugs and several see you out there's. Did you bring your kit? You could change into something more comfortable. Change in front of them? Why didn't I think of that when I so brilliantly turned myself into a boy? Um, I forgot, sorry. Will that be a problem? <laughs> Not really. I'd lend you mine, but I'm a lot bigger than you. I was blushing. I covered my cheeks with my hands and closed my eyes. Are you feeling all right? I'm nervous, I guess. You don't have to meet the coach. It's your first day. I can introduce you another time. I have to go. Sorry. I ran out of there. Why did I ever think I could do this? I finally did meet the coach, who was very friendly. Except when it was time for practice and I was convinced she was trying to kill us. I loved every minute of it. I also solved my locker room problem by changing in my car. 
By the end of the week, I'd made it to the first team. We had a game that Saturday, which we won thanks to my two goals. Cole and I became good friends. He'd come over to my house after school and we'd practice for hours. One morning, just before first period, I opened my locker and a note fell out. I picked up the note and froze. I know your secret. Tell or I will. The note was unsigned. Alex, are you all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. When did Cole get here? I'm fine. See you at practice. I missed practice that day. The next few days were tough. Someone knew I was not a boy. How did they know? I felt like someone was watching me. My performance at games became very poor, and that worried Cole. I wished I could share my secret with him, but that would mean losing my slot in the team. I expected to receive more notes, but none came. Soon, I was back to my old self. Well, my old boy self. One day, the coach told us that our school was among those selected to participate in a national soccer tournament. The winning team would get a shiny trophy and half a million dollars from a soccer academy in Europe. We've got this. We've got both Cole and Alex attacking. They won't know what hit them. As coach addressed us, I realized I no longer missed my old team. I was happy here, and I'd do my best to win the tournament. Your time is running out. I stared at my phone as I read the text over and over. I received it while at school. I guess the person who wrote the note was back. I needed to talk to Josh. Who do you think is doing this? I have no idea. Josh, what do I do? I've already played three games in the tournament as a boy. If they find out I lied, the team will get disqualified. The thought of that made me want to die. They trusted me. Most of them had become my friends. Coach could lose her job. I'd been so selfish thinking I could keep my secret and enjoy playing in the team. I'll talk to a colleague at the station. He can trace the texts. As the tournament neared its end, I received three more texts. Josh still hadn't found out who was sending them. On the day of the final match, I was changing in my car when he called. Alex, hey, glad I caught you before the game. I'm on my way to the stadium, but this can't wait. Josh, what is it? The texts. They came from a number registered to Cole. What? Cole knows? Just then, there was a knock on my car window. I jumped and dropped my phone. Cole, you scared me. Sorry, coach asked me to fetch you. She needs to talk to the team. I picked up my phone and hung up on Josh. I'll be right there. Let me finish changing. Okay, Alexandra. What did you just call me? Cole's face went white. Oh my God, it's you. It's been you this whole time. You sent me those texts, didn't you? The note? What are you talking about? What texts? We need to go or we'll be late. Tell me. Shouldn't I be the one who's angry? You've been lying to me, us, the whole time. Let's talk after the game. With that, he walked away. I played so badly. By halftime, the coach was ready to bench me. However, Cole asked her to let me continue. She said I had 10 minutes to turn my game around. Why did you do that? You could have just told her the truth. Alex, I... Look, I don't know what's going on or why you did all this, but I need you to play, okay? We can still win this game, but we can't do it without you. I was so confused. Why would Cole send me those texts, then beg me to play? Our talk at halftime did the trick. I scored two goals while he scored one. When the final whistle was blown, Cole picked me up and spun me around. When he put me down, he looked embarrassed. Sorry, got carried away. We need to talk. After a few speeches, it was time for us to receive the trophy and the $500,000 check. Josh and Cole were next to me as our principal called out each of our names. Alexandra Baker? Ah, sorry about that. That must be a typing error. Actually, it's not. Isn't that right, Alexandra? Jenny was now on the podium standing next to the principal. There were a few murmurs as everyone looked at me. Cole held my hand. Jenny, what are you doing? Time to stop pretending, Cole. You knew Alex was a girl and you let her play for your team. You're the team captain. You should have reported it. The principal looked mortified. That's enough out of you, Miss Richards. We're here to celebrate our soccer team. I will not have you spread lies about any of them. Jenny was looking right at me, challenging me to deny it. I stood up. Jenny is not lying. My name is Alexandra and I am a girl. It's not a typing error. I'm sure Jenny made sure she typed it correctly. She is the principal's assistant after all. I heard a few gasps. The academy representatives started to whisper amongst themselves. 
I couldn't take it. I ran out the back exit and locked myself in the washrooms. Alex, open up, it's me! Go away, Cole. The ceremony just ended and there's a lot of students heading this way. I couldn't hold the tears anymore. I opened the door and fell into Cole's arms. <laughs> well, well, well. I should have known. Go away, Jenny. Haven't you done enough? Me? What about her? She lied to the whole school. Why are you doing this? Don't look at me like I'm the monster here. How do you think it felt reading your diary? Does she even know how you feel about her? Enough, Jenny. You win. Now leave us alone. Gladly. I wouldn't want to be seen with either of you after today. This is my fault. Come on. I'll take you home. We took Cole's car home. Josh was there waiting. Alex, where did you go? I looked everywhere for you. How could I have been mad at my brother? Seeing the fear in his face made me feel so guilty. I was about to tell him how sorry I was when his phone rang. I better answer this. As Josh talked on the phone, I decided to confront Cole. You still haven't told me how you knew I was a girl. Cole smiled. Remember when you went to the shop to buy boy clothes at the mall? Oh, God, do I want to know? He was now laughing. The girl who assisted you, Carly, she's my sister. When she came home, she told me about you. She recognized you from the video. Why didn't you tell anyone? I loved having you around. In the team, I mean. We've had a great season. What about the texts? Someone's been texting me saying they know my secret. Josh had his cop buddy trace them and they led to your number. I didn't send you any texts. I did lend Jenny my phone a few times, though. Just then, Josh walked in. That was the school. The Academy is willing to hear your side of the story before they decide to award the money to the team. They've asked for a meeting with you tomorrow at the principal's office. I arrived at the principal's office accompanied by Cole and Josh. I believe you know why you're here, so why don't we just get right to it? Why did you misrepresent yourself? I did it so I could play soccer. I transferred here this semester and was disappointed to learn that the school does not have a girls' soccer team. I love soccer, and my dream is to play professionally. I apologize for my actions. The team and the coach didn't know. Half an hour later, the meeting was over. The academy decided to award the trophy and the money to the team, but I was suspended for the rest of the semester. It was two weeks to graduation, so I wasn't going to miss much. You can come for the graduation ceremony, but leave right after. Understood? Alex, get out of here! Josh and Cole were hanging out downstairs while I got ready for my date with Cole. Graduation was a week ago. Hey, what's up? Josh handed me a letter while Cole stared at me. He was still getting used to seeing me in a dress and makeup, I guess. Dear Miss Baker, we are pleased to inform you that... Josh, look! The letter is from the Academy in Europe. They're offering me a scholarship. I looked at both Josh and Cole and they were both smiling. We know. I just got the same letter. We both went to the same academy and had the best time. And that's the end of my story, I guess. Hope you enjoyed it.